The final DLC character for Demon Slayer is coming out this week, and we have a trailer. We're gonna react to it, break it down, let's go! It is kill time. Show me my boy! Go. Those look so like some solid attacks. That looks like some good range. What did he just... He just escaped into grab. <laughs> I love that. An ultimate animation? No, well, first we got... No, that was Surge. Big specials. Those are the demon skills. For sure. Now we have the ultimate. Alright, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's break it down, let's try to figure out exactly what this character does. And also try to figure out if any of these moves could apply poison, because for sure he has a poison gimmick, right? First up, we have his neutral combo, seems pretty standard, and then it cuts to his down combo, also looks pretty standard. I do like it when characters jump up in the air to do that final strike below, because you can usually dodge cancel that and it can lead to some pretty interesting block strings. The range on some of these attacks, I don't know if the visuals will correspond to the hit Hitbox, but the man will have some big range for a melee character. If those blood effects actually have a hitbox, he's gonna have some good range. Then this is the clip where he just escapes a combo and mashes grab. Never do this, kids. It probably won't go well for you. I don't think the grab has that amazing range. It seems pretty standard. It is kind of fast, though. And fast grabs usually lead to really strong characters, or at least really strong mix-up potential. It depends on how much the recovery is and if the damage is worth it, but having a fast grab is a great starting point for the grab itself. I wonder if the rest is also gonna be good, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Oh, that is a good plunge. Jumping tilt attack. That is kind of huge. I love the angle. I love how much area it covers. That looks like a very good move. The spinning attack is for sure one of his specials. I would say it's a normal skill. It's not a demon skill. It looks pretty straightforward. Good hitbox from the looks of it. Covers a decent range. It's not a disorder level move, which is a good thing. We have enough of those. And it pops up the opponent. You can definitely follow this up with a dash. Even if it costs more meter to cancel the dash, you can definitely extend the combo from here. We have the surge animation. Love the close-up. Love the final pose. Oh man, just pause on that final pose. Holy crap. This is another skill from Gyutaro. He's armored because of surge, but basically he slashes and jumps back. It's not a very common type of move, but this could be one that actually applies the poison effect, because it's a pretty fast attack. It's like, bam, done. And poison attacks are usually like that. It's just like one hit, bam, you're poisoned. This next animation is probably the Surge combo finisher. Some big slashes, okay, nothing special. This is for sure a demon skill. This reminds me a lot of uh, Rui's DP, just a big ball around the guy. And Gyutaro's in Surge, so this is maybe a little bit hard to tell, but I think he's actually invincible here. He's shining white and that could be just a Surge, but I think he is shining brighter than usual here, and that usually means invincibility. So he's got a DP move, and it's pretty similar to Rui. I would say it's way bigger, actually. I'm pausing on a frame here where there's just blood attack all over the screen. Rui does not have that big of an attack. On the very next shot, we have that same move again, where he retreats with an attack, goes back in with a spinning special, and then we have his ultimate. And the ultimate animation, I think it's a bit too dark in the trailer. It's like those movies where they shot stuff too dark and you can't really tell what's happening. I don't know, it's a bunch of blood slashes. But I do think YouTube compression might have something to do with that. It's probably gonna be a lot clearer in the final game. We won't have to wait long until we finally play the character, but, as always, I'm very curious to know what you guys are thinking right now. Do you think Yutaro looks good? Do you think he looks bad? I want to know your opinions. Leave them in the comments right now, I will give you mine in a second. I don't want you to be biased, I don't want you to be influenced by my opinion, so just go, go ahead, type it. Type it down there. Alright, you done? I'm worried because I haven't seen any fuck neutral type of ability. Strong characters in Demon Slayer usually have a way to be very oppressive in neutral, to just gain the neutral, force the opponent to block and apply some insane pressure. I think we have seen some flashy moves, I think we we have seen some traditional moves, a very good DP, but we haven't seen anything that helps Gyutaro in neutral. That said, I think we've seen in total maybe three abilities. So there's still two more to go and any of those could be a big help in neutral. Also, we haven't seen any of his uh, skill moves while jumping. And jumping gives you a completely different tracking, so maybe one of those moves while jumping will be the solution. But that's my only worry right now. Other than that, the character looks amazing. We're gonna be reviewing this character on Wednesday, going through all of his moves, his damage multiplier, what type of character he is, so if you don't want to miss that, make sure you're subscribed. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku, and I'll see you next time. Bye! See!